Hello everyone, it's Clay. I'm back again with another haul video. This one's going to be a little different. I actually went to an estate sale this morning and uh, found some great little treasures. Um, but I'm going to do this one in our kitchen as opposed to in my office. So uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so first off, when I walked in, they had a big china cabinet. We found these two spoons. And this beautiful bowl, Mark Sterling on the back. So those are some great finds. The spoons are also Mark Sterling. I don't think they go with the bowl, but it's a good find. And then on another shelf, they had a whole bunch of smaller items. So I found these four different thimbles. This one is a filigree thimble. Um, this one, this one. All three of these are marked as sterling. And this one is just a mother of pearl. I thought that was a beautiful thimble. Those are, I got all four of those for a dollar. I got these three items for five dollars. Then I found this little handmade muffin ear. It's marked on the bottom, 1977. Oh, just thought it was cute. Again, handmade pottery stuff. There's a little honey pot that I got. It's a little dirty. Again, it's marked on the bottom. Also was $2. Then I got this pitcher. Um, it's got Les Cubas prints on there. Les Cubas is a Minnesota artist who's pretty famous up here. And interesting fact is my wife... Her uncle is actually uh, Dick Schiebel, and he studied under Les Cuba, so he's also a well-known Minnesota wildlife artist. So I always pick up Les Cuba stuff when we find it, so not sure if we'll keep that or sell that. But the other thing I got was this um, compartment um, thingy. Can't think of the word. Anyway, it is full of golf tees, and he's got them all labeled, different things. There are novelty tees, like this fur cover novelty thing. Now, this whole thing was free. So I picked it up just because I thought, well, number one, I can use the parts cabinet. Number two, I don't know if some of these, because I've never seen some of these before. Um, some really odd-looking ones, like these, or this one. Um, these are actually free metal ones. They're all metal. This one's a little bent. Um, but yeah, I just never saw anything quite like these. Some clear plastic colored ones. Some, they're all just all kind of different. These look like plungers to me. But anyway, so I picked it up for free. Then I also picked up this cabinet. This one I'm going to use for storage of my materials. Um, what was interesting is there's a lot of empty drawers, but every one that's labeled has stuff in it. This has whistles. This one's a Boy Scout whistle. Um, metal shelf brackets, pocket knives. I paid a dollar for this whole cabinet. Chains. Whole thing of key rings in here. Match boxes. These are all novelty match boxes. Different prints on them. None of them used. They were all collected. Also, I have this wonderful little tennis keychain. So I might give that to my daughter. She was a tennis player. Magnets. More magnets. Vintage shoelaces. Padlocks. Yeah, so again, full of a bunch of little stuff. But I'm going to use it for storage things. And then over here, I found some more Kurog trays. This one is first the seed. Basically, it's kind of a farmer's tray. I paid a dollar for this one. It is in basically unused condition. There's no scratches, no chips, no that's a few fingerprints for me handling it. Um, then I also got this tray. Whoops, I just knocked something over. Um, this cardinal tray, which is beautiful. Paid two dollars for this one. This one has been used. The finish is kind of scratched off. It's kind of dull. Um, but again, beautiful tray for two dollars. So I might use that one found this book I actually thought of my wife so I bought this book for her um, Destinations of a Lifetime National Geographic it's all sorts of wonderful photos in it um, she loves looking at stuff like this 
So we'll probably keep that, even though it's worth like 20 bucks on eBay. And I also got this, the Schmuzzle Puzzle. Um, it's the most unique puzzle I've ever seen. It says 168 identically shaped pieces. So, and on the back side, it shows you all these different patterns you can make out of them because they're all the same shape. So, thought, well, that'll be fun. I like and I like doing puzzles, so we'll try that. And I got a couple pieces of artwork. This is a cruel piece. I believe they call this technique cruel. Um, I just thought the bird was fantastic. Um, the colors are beautiful. The design is wild. <laughs> but it was really cool. And I got this print, um, which is filthy dirty, by the way. You can see the dirt all over it. It is glass front. But it looks like the print itself is in good shape without any foxing or anything. Um, it's by Anthony Theme. And, uh, yeah. So, he's a fairly popular artist. So, anyway. And I got one more thing, just a sec. And then the last thing I got, which is still down in the car, is a Mission Oak end table. It is um, a smaller table. I'll get a picture of it. I'll put it on the end of this. But uh, I bought that for $20. So all total today, I spent $38 for this stuff. And I'll easily get that out of the table because um, it's like in perfect shape. Almost nothing wrong with the table. Um, but anyway, so it was a lot of fun to go to this sale. And it was uh, family members running it. So the prices were negotiable and they just needed to get rid of it. It's a one day only today. And I'm thinking I might go back to before the end of the day. Um, and just see, because again, they had a whole lot more silver pieces left. And uh, might see if I pick up some more. I don't think any more sterling silver, but there is a lot of silver plate. And again, I really like silver. So might see what we can find. Bye. Okay, guys, so here's this Mission Oak small table that I found at that estate sale today. And it's just, I love the size of it. It's a very small table. Um, beautiful drawers. And it's got this cabinet as well. I mean, the handles, I just love these vintage handles. And um, it has been refinished at some point. It would have been a darker wood, and you can tell somebody did refinish it. But they did a really good job, um, other than it's not the original finish. Um, but no, it looks great. Again, I love the size. It's like a um, 15 inches, by about 24 inches, about 30 inches high. So it's just like a perfect size for a bedroom or even for a side table in your living room or something like that it's wonder i just love it so i don't know if i'm going to keep it or get rid of it but we'll see so thanks for watching if you like this content like and subscribe thanks guys bye